The seasons come and go like thoughts of you Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue They change but in a cycle that I can't lose Each painful but delightful to live through Okay guys, so due to unfortunate circumstances, I'm not being forced to move out, but I mean like it's be best for me to move out because obviously of this coronavirus, like in case it does get worse, I don't want to be like isolated and stuck inside of this residence building. I'd rather be at home and be stuck with my family than be stuck here on my own if that makes sense. So and again everything on school is online now, so there's no point of me physically being here because there's no classes, everything is online. I'm just doing it on my computer, so... Yeah, so in today's video, I thought I'd kind of share with you guys my experience and what I've learned these past two years living at university, so living on my own, being a student athlete, how I deal with, like, school, soccer, working out, my health, and everything like that. So, um, yeah, I just wrote down a quick little list here, five of my top tips, in no particular order, just what I've learned and my experiences so far, so I really think this will help some of you out if you're considering going into university university or college or if you're just interested in knowing what it's like so um yeah let's get into it and again these are in no particular order these are just five random things that i learned so number one time management so you really gotta be on top of your stuff especially if you're a student athlete or if you've other commitments outside of school you really gotta be on top of your game in terms of like everything going on in your life so obviously the big thing that i've learned to do is actually my coach told me this is to make a list of priorities and list your number one priority at the top of the list and then your second most important and third and then fourth and then so on and so on so obviously school should come first for most of you so really be sure that your schoolwork comes first so make sure you do your homework make sure you get your assignments done before you do other stuff before you like go to the gym work out play soccer or go to work or do whatever you got to do outside of school so again like you really got to be on top of your stuff because you just got to do it because there's so much going on like at once and it's like it's so overwhelming when you think about it oh i gotta go to school and oh i gotta go to work and then oh i gotta go to my soccer practice and then i gotta go work out and then you get all my meals out and just so much stuff going on so a really big thing important thing that i learned is to just write down the most important stuff that you have to do in a day and then just tick them off as they go so also, what I like to do is I like to plan my days ahead of time. So, for example, I knew that I had classes from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. I had soccer practice from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And basically, I also wanted to go work out and get my meals in. So, what I decided to do is that, okay, so since I can't work out after school because of soccer, what if I go work out before school? So, what I used to do is I'd wake up at 6 a.m. every single morning, to get my workout in, and then I'd finish before my 8 a.m. class, I'd go to all my classes, and make sure I get all my meals in in between classes, and then I go off to soccer practice, and then when I come back at around 6.30, I finish all my homework, and then I'm pretty much done for the day at around 8 p.m. So, yeah, honestly, it wasn't too bad once you kind of like make a plan and make a schedule for yourself, and kind of plan everything out, because it just makes things a lot easier. So, yeah, again, like work around your schedules. So again, as I just said, I had to work around my soccer and school schedule to make sure I got my workout in and I got enough meals in in the day. So yeah, that's basically what you gotta do. Just find your schedule and then work the things you wanna do around it, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's the first tip. Time management is really, really crucial when you're a university student or when you're living alone. Because obviously there, no one is gonna look after you, there's no parents. And that actually is gonna tie into my second thing that I learned, which is no one cares about you. Okay, that's kind of mean, okay. Obviously people care about you, but like people have their own things going on and the last thing they wanna worry about is how, how am I doing? Like, hey Conan, how are you doing with school? Like, no, no one cares. Like, you gotta really be on top of your own stuff, so. Now obviously like, when it comes to like the teachers and profs and coaches, like obviously if you tell them the situation, like they'll help you. But if you're just silent and don't ask questions, no one is gonna know you're struggling. No one is gonna know you need help. So really a really big thing and really important thing you should do if you're a student is that you should just ask questions. Like ask the stupidest questions ever because they will help. So yeah, really like try and make your teachers actually do their job by asking them a bunch of questions. Just like, don't even feel bad about it. Like they may, you may think that they think that you are 
annoying or a weirdo, but honestly, like, teachers like it when you ask questions, so just ask away because, like, someone else may have the same question. And again, so, ask anyone, ask students, how was the homework, like, what did you do for homework, ask the pros, so, like, whatever questions you have, just ask away because if they don't know, no one is gonna know and no one is gonna look after you. No prof is gonna come knock on your door and say, hey, did you finish your homework? Or hey, are you studying for your midterm? Because they're not gonna do that. You gotta really just focus on yourself and make sure you're on top of your studies. So yeah, no one is gonna really look after you. You gotta look after yourself. But if you ask questions, they will answer your questions. So ask questions to your profs. That's a big thing that I learned. I didn't do that my first year of university. I was like, I was too shy. I was like kind of inside of my shell a bit. And uh, yeah, a big thing I learned about myself as well is that like I've really come out of my shell a bit more. Like I used to be pretty shy back in high school, but now that I'm living on my own, I gotta do my own stuff. I'm really like getting myself out there and really asking questions, like being more talkative to people. So yeah, that's another thing I learned. So third thing is that I think I already mentioned this, but school comes first. School should always come first before anything else because obviously you're there to be a student, you're a student, you should be, school should be your number one priority, so yeah, again, like, even though there's so much stuff going on, you like, want to socialize with other people, you want to work out, you want to, you have to go to soccer practice, which, I mean, you have to do when you're a student athlete, but again, like, make sure, like, school always comes first, so, for example, if you have a midterm coming up, or you have a paper coming up, then make sure you get that done first before you do other things, but I think I mentioned that already, so, um, yeah, then my fourth thing that I learned is that it's nothing like high school, so, Obviously, like, I was a super good student in high school. Like, I thought I was, like, like, I didn't have straight A's. I had, like, mostly A's and B's, and I thought, oh, this is easy. Like, honestly, high school was a breeze. Like, I'm pretty sure they make you pass regardless of what you do. So, like, honestly, like, this is nothing like high school. In high school, again, like, the teachers look after you. They, like, ask you, hey, did you do your homework? Hey, are you studying for this? final or this midterm coming up and they email your parents as well if you're absent or whatever but in university like they don't really care if you don't come to class they're not going to email you saying hey where were you today because honestly like in some of the classes there's like 80 plus students and like they can't just do attendance i mean some do but most most of them in my experience don't so yeah it's nothing like high school it's completely different like for me at least like the grading was really different like, like the class in itself like the way it's structured is a lot different and just everything is just so much. I, won't, I don't want to say it's harder, it's just more work, if that makes sense. So it all adds up with all the things you're doing. So um, yeah, and my fifth and final thing that I learned while being at university is that you just gotta enjoy it, man. Because like, obviously this is the time like that you're like 18 to 20 years old and like, you just enjoy it, man. Because to be honest, like, I don't want to say I regret it, it's not going out to parties too much because I don't regret it. I just feel like I could have, done more like I could have probably like gone to more parties because obviously parties are super big when you go to university or college and I didn't really do that so I guess I kind of feel like I missed out but I don't really care honestly but I do feel like you should really live in the moment really like take it all in because you're only going to be at university or college for a certain number of years so really just enjoy like enjoy the experience like just make a bunch of friends, make connections, and just live in the moment because again, most of the best stories come from you being a university student. So really just, I don't wanna say like go to parties every weekend and like go out and like go all out and stuff, but it's just like every now and then, like just kind of enjoy yourself. So again, this all comes down to like balance and time management again. So again, like if you finish all your schoolwork, you get to go to parties a bit more, if that makes sense. So yeah, the one thing I forgot to mention too is that I was living on my own here, so this was my first ever time living without my parents, without anyone, just me on my own. And that was actually like, that was super, super really cool experience because I mean, I've always kind of been like independent and like on top of my stuff, even at home. Like at home, I'd prep my own meals, I'd make my own dinners, like I'd, I'd do everything on my own. But now that I'm actually physically living on my own, it's really put my skills to the test. And I feel like I've really learned a lot, not just about myself, but about life, like everything, like it's just crazy, man. So I really do think that it's, a, it's been a great experience these past two years living on my own here at university. I've learned so much about myself, about how I've kind of like developed into like, I don't want to say an adult because I'm still a kid. At least I feel like I'm still a kid. But I just feel like I've learned so much about myself just in terms of like my commitment to what I'm doing. And honestly, like, my schoolwork because my first ever semester here 
was not good at all, like my GPA was bad. And then the next semester I kind of learned how to study, like, it sounds weird, but I actually learned the system, if that makes sense. So I learned, okay, so this is what they want you to do, and that is what they want you to do. And instead of like me being like a new student, not having any idea what to do. So yeah, I learned so much about just myself, like about the whole school system, about how to study, about how to manage your time, about how no one cares about you. You gotta ask questions, get yourself out there to really let people know that you are struggling. If you are struggling, let them know because they're not gonna come knock on your door and say, hey, are you okay? They're not gonna do that, so really make sure you do that. Thirdly, school always comes first. Like, although it is fun being a student athlete, you get to play soccer, you get to do other stuff, so many other stuff comes with that. So you get to work out, you get to live on your own, you get to make your own meals, but school comes first, obviously. And then, it's not like high school at all. Like, it's it's a different beast. I, wanna, I, don't, wanna, I don't wanna scare you guys away by saying university is like so much harder because it's really not. If you're on top of your stuff, then it really shouldn't be too bad. But it, just do keep in mind that it is gonna be different than high school. Lastly, just enjoy your time here because again, it only comes around once in a lifetime, at least I think, I, I think? Yeah, I think it does. So yeah, really just enjoy yourself. Like, I don't wanna say go to parties every single weekend, but just do go to more parties than I did. This is what I wanna, what I wanna say because again, I don't wanna say I missed out, but just enjoy it, man, because yeah, just you're only a student once in your life. So just take full advantage of it, so. Meet new people, make new connections, enjoy your time here, get drunk once in a while, whatever. Like, it's all part of being a student, it's all part of growing up. So, yeah, those are my top five things that I learned. So, I hope you guys took something from this video. And, uh, yeah, I gotta get back to packing. Uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, guys, so it's currently, I think it's like 11 30 p.m. It's pretty late. So, um, yeah, I completely cleaned everything in my room. So, no more posters, no more Ronaldo posters, which is sad, but um, yeah, everything pretty much clean. I'm gonna sleep tonight, and then we're gonna leave tomorrow morning, and um, yeah, just, just show you the kitchen real quick. So yeah, I got the boxes right here. Some other stuff there as well. So kitchen completely clean. Even like the freezer, I'm just gonna bring some stuff with me. Completely clean the shelves and everything. The fridge as well. Got some stuff I'm gonna bring with me tomorrow. Microwave clean, clean the bathroom as well. Um, <laughs> quick flex shower. So um, yeah, we're basically ready to go. I'm gonna get get up tomorrow at around 6:30 a.m. Pack all the stuff inside the car, and we're off to go back home. I'm excited, so I'll see you guys then. Okay, guys. So everything is literally packed. Everything is gone. So uh, yeah, I got my been full right here everything literally stuffed in there and uh yeah that's gonna be it so i'm gonna miss this place but um let's go back home the season's coming go like thoughts of you like a wave returns to the sea into the blue they change but in a cycle that I can't lose Each painful but delightful to live through You came into my life just like another season Not for long, just a time, just like another season So I've made it back home. It's actually been a couple of days since I made it back home. But anyway, I do want to end this video back in Edmonton for one last final time. Okay, guys. So I'm going to end the video right here for the last and final time in this room. So yeah, it's been a crazy, enjoyable, fun experience, journey here, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to miss this room, although it was pretty small. But just, like, yeah, I mean, I made so many good memories here. So yeah, I'm really going to miss this place. But um, yeah, we're going to move on new chapter in my life, new adventure. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna end this video right here. So I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to go give this video a thumbs up. It would help me out a lot. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.